Animals tote their babies around in all manners. Those that commonly come to mind include a kangaroo joey in a pouch, a lion cub carried by the scruff of its neck, or an opossum clinging to its mom's back. But how about a scorpion pile? Newborns, called scorplings, instinctively make their way to mom's back, a process that can take up to two hours. Using her claws, the mother forms a birth basket to assist in their journey. Here, her babies remain during the first few weeks of their lives. Another mother, the alligator, is just as helpful when it comes to transporting her young, though all those teeth tend to get in the way. These freshly hatched babies will get carried in her large jaws towards the river where they'll be guarded by mom for up to a year or more. Perhaps a style more familiar to humans is displayed by one of our closest relatives, the bonobo. Born virtually helpless, the first couple years of baby bonobo's lives will be spent with mom, or rather, on mom. For a few months, they won't leave her underside. Not until a few years old do they begin riding piggyback. Sharing similar DNA to bonobos, chimpanzees also carry their young in this manner. Once the baby hits three to four years old, the mother gives birth again, and the older brother or sister will need to fend for itself. Same goes for the gorilla mother. Their infants may only weigh about four to five pounds at birth, but they grow fast. It's not just the great apes that have a special hold on their babies. All primates, including the lemur and spider monkey, are careful carriers. This spider monkey mom will carry her infant wherever she moves. As the infant grows, the mom transitions to carrying it only for longer distances or through open spaces. This continues for about the first two years of its life. For extra grip, the young will wrap its tiny tail around their mothers. And speaking of spiders, the mother wolf spider has been known to carry over 1,000 babies on her back at a time. She's the only spider in the world known to carry hatchlings in this way. And depending on the species of wolf spider, the spiderlings will stay on the mother's back anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. Wolf spiders aren't the only ones to protect their many-legged young. Meet the centipede. This mother wraps her body around her offspring to protect them. She remains in this position, grooming them to prevent fungal growth for several weeks until the young depart. Protecting babies is just as important in the air as it is on the ground. The bat mother may have one of the more difficult loads. Her pups sometimes fly with her and can weigh up to one-third of her own weight. Not only are they heavy, they cling to her nipples with their mouths when they fly. Eventually, all babies will grow up and learn to thrive on their own. Unattached from mom, they'll hop, crawl, walk, and more, independently exploring their world. Until then, they will enjoy the ride, whether on the ground or in the sky.